Hey everyone, my name is Vinerin and I wish you a Merry Christmas. In this video, we are going to have a look at KVQ, a model by Alibaba Cloud that is allowing you to do multimodal reasoning on images and text. We're going to have a look at what this model is, how you can run it, and then we're going to try a uh, different examples with different visual tasks and see how this model performs. Let's get started. The KVQ model was introduced literally on Christmas Eve by the Quen team and they state that this is an open model for multimodal reasoning built upon Quen 2 VL 72B. So this model is an extension of this model and it is also 72 billion parameter model. The model initially was released as an Apache 2 license but as of now the model is licensed under the Quen license which is a bit more restrictive compared to the Apache 2 license and if you want to use this model in production or other use cases please have a look at the license as well. So what are the limitations of this model based on what the authors claim? They say that the model is mixing language and code uh, and of course this is a model that was trained with a lot of data and it appears that during its reasoning you might not be able to understand its reasoning at all. So this is pretty interesting. Now the large language models that are available are uncomprehendable to humans. Probably this will continue. Other than that, the model is a lacking ability to chat for longer with you. And here they state that during multi-step visual reasoning, the model might gradually lose focus on the image content, leading to hallucinations. So in our tests that we're going to pass through, we're going to be just adding a single image and then asking a question, just a single question about this image. And here you can see the performance of this model compared to the previous models, Quote 3.5 Sunnet, GPT-40, GPT-401. These are the scores, as you can see, on the different benchmarks. And it appears that the QVQ model is performing uh, roughly around Sonnet 3.5, sorry, Quote 3.5 level. The model is available under GGUF format and it is available for Bartos from Bartowski on the Hugging Face uh, Hub. And here you can see a complete example of how you can run this model with Wama CPP. This is the COI version of it. And uh, this is using the extension for Quen2 VL, uh, which is of course currently supported by Wama CPP. And the model is quantized under different formats. You can see the quantization formats right here, along with the file size. Unfortunately, this model is quite large for me to try it out on my local machine. But if you are able to run this on your local setup, please let me know if this model performs as well as the demo that I'm going to show you. I took this image from a Reddit post and as you can see, it contains a lot of objects and I'm going to ask the model to count the number of boots in this image. And let me show you that we have six different boots. I'm going to show them to you. And we're going to start with the response from the model. And the first thing that you see that this model does is to go through its reasoning and start the mod, the counting row by row or column by column. At first, it states that it has the image has four boots in total, then add up to five. I see another boot in the fourth row, making it two boots in that row six boots okay so yeah that's six boots in total okay so here is the final answer i don't think there are any more boots beyond the six so my final answer is that there are six boots in the image so it got that correct you can try this image on other objects and you see that it makes a lot of mistakes as well but in the boot count it appears to be working quite well in the next task, I'm going to ask for a bounding box for this motorcycle and I'm going to specify the format xmin, ymin, xmax and ymax. And from the start, you see that the model is trying to first understand the image properly, focusing on the motorcycle itself right here. 
and then he's starting to speak about the percentages. And here are the results, 23%, 55%, 92%, 35%. So these appear to be all right. Here I have an image of a car and I'm asking for the model to extract the license plate number of the car. And uh, here it states that this is a Porsche Boxster GTS. So it appears that it got that correct. So the license plate according to the model is CB64G60. And if we go through the image, CB64G60, yeah, it appears that it got the correct license plate number. Next, I have an image of a car crash and Based on this image, I'm asking the model to tell me which car is the cause of this crash. And you can see the two cars right here and the green white right here. Not really sure which one is correct since this might be a post crash event. And the final answer according a uh, the model, of course, an educated guess is that the white SUV is the cause for the crash. Uh, here again is the complete image. I'm not really sure that this is an SUV at all. It looks like a van to me. But even though if this is the scene with a green light for the sedan right here, probably this should be the better guess. I have a chart of the S&P 500 in a weekly time frame and I'm asking the model to predict the price for the next six periods. So the model did get correctly that this is a weekly time frame and it is for the S&P 500 from 2019 to 2025. And the uptrend uh, is predicted to continue based on the reasoning of this model. And it is uh, expecting to reach 6,100, 6,100 to 6,200. So uh, please don't take this prediction as a financial advice. But it appears that the model got the chart very well. This is a table from the model's blog post from the Quen team. And I'm asking the model to give me the score of 35.9 and I'm asking in a bit of an ambiguous way asking that which is the model for the uh, which is the score for the preview model so this is the final answer 35.9 which is exactly correct it got uh, correct that I'm talking about the preview for the 72 billion parameter model. The final task for the model is to extract information from the Piggly Wiggly receipt that I got from the previous tests. And here I want a lot of the fears to be extracted like merchant name, date of purchase, time of purchase, total amount, tax amount, payment method, and list of items purchased. And I want this to be in a JSON format with the following guidelines right here. So this is the final response. We have the store Piggly Wiggly date, which appears to be correct. Total amount, tax amount, payment method, and the price for the two wine items. So this appears to be working uh, pretty good as well. So this is it for this video. We've seen how this new QVQ model is actually performing quite well for an open model that is using both reasoning and vision capabilities. We've seen that this model performs quite well on some of the tasks, for example, understanding digits or data extraction for images. The counting task, even though I've shown you a simple example, if you try to count multiple objects or some of the other objects, it gets messed up pretty easily. 
hopefully you will be able to get similar results with the GUF model and please do let me know if you are trying out this model on your own and what results did you get. Thank you for watching guys, please like, share and subscribe. Also join the discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description of this video and I wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year wherever you might celebrate those. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.